to the preview show. Helen Matthews and Rachel Rose, the back-to-back -back SOCON Player of the Year. Ladies, so great to have you. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Good to be here. Listen, both of you have had some adversity and have had some incredible success. Uh, which one do you want to talk about first? <laughs> sure, we can go for the for the adversity first. Yeah, so last year losing uh, a teammate who I was so close with, specifically on the court, and Helen was was really tough. And then you know, at at a time we had three three freshmen starting with me, so I really had to grow as a leader in a uh, leadership position. So that was it was tough, but I thought we handled ourselves well. We didn't finish the season the way. I, my goal was, but um, we've grown a lot since then, and I can see a lot of success in the future. And you know what? I, I know what it takes to lose now, so let's, so let's win now. Well, Helen, you're coming off an injury, and that required an awful lot for you to get back. Let's talk about the success of overcoming your injury and what you're looking forward to this year. Yeah, well, it was kind of a lot like a hit, losing the 2023 championship and then getting hit with the injury. Um, but I think Honestly, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise. You know, I got to sit on the sidelines and grow a lot about myself, my leadership, my IQ for the game. And I got to watch our other in, uh, injured girls grow beside me. Uh, so then I think, honestly, it set us up for to have such a great year. This year, I think we're super competitive. Um, everyone wants to win. We all we trust each other. We believe in each other. And so I think, you know, I'm just really excited to see how this season goes. Helen, you have the luxury of this year playing next to Rachel, who who has 22 points a game last year. She's on the top of the target, uh, top target on, on everybody's scouting report. Uh, what is it uniquely uh, special about her game and that makes her such a great teammate? Um, I think she's just so smart. You know, she sees the court so well. She makes it easy for us. She sets us up to have great shots. But then also within that, she believes in us a lot. She tells us all the time. Um, so, you know, she's going to tell us to keep shooting. She's going to tell us exactly what we need to do, where we need to be. And, you know, it just gets the team rolling. And I think last off, she just loves to win. And that really um, trickles down through everyone in the team. Rachel, not everyone naturally comes by the competitive edge that you bring in every drill, every practice, every game. Where does that come from? Yeah, I think it starts growing up in my family. I have four siblings who I've competed with ever since I can remember. So just growing up, wanting to be the best and having parents who support me in that way. Um, and then getting to a team and at a school like Wofford where I'm being set up for success here. And so my way of giving back is, you know, fighting for this school, fighting for my teammates, trying to win everything that way. Because if I'm if I'm trying to be the best, they're gonna just amp up their, their level of um, energy. You are responsible for a rising tide yourself because you can do that. You have the power to do that because you work so hard and it's infectious what you do. If you listen to Jimmy Garrity describe your relationship with you, Rachel, and your skill set, it's almost a mirror image of who Jimmy was as a player and a, and a young player himself. Um, when you think about your relationship with Coach Garrity, what are some of the principal things that make you want to play harder and be a better person? or being around him and in his program? Yeah, just the trust that he has in me um, to control the game and control our team on the court. You know, he doesn't call much during the games because he trusts me to make the right call and we talk about it and we watch film together through that. Um, and just off the court, like he's my academic coach as well. So he gets on me for school and I could see that he wants me to be the best as well in school and in basketball. So. You know, it's this is this is his livelihood. This is his dream of being a coach and winning championships. And it's our dreams align, our goals align. So fighting for myself, fighting for my teammates, and fighting for him, it's it's really easy. It's a pretty selfless group. I, I mean, Helen, I'm listening to Rachel and, and knowing all the accolades that she's received, and you've received some as well. That this is um, a group that's very well connected, and it's game above self. How does that manifest itself on the court when you're playing? Yeah, it just goes down to we all believe, like we all just want to win in the end and we all want to do whatever we can to win. And we all have our individual roles, our individual things that we're great at. And we know if we do that, we're going to get the win. And when it comes to individual awards, 
you know, those might come, but they're a result of us doing all the little things, everything we need to do and ultimately achieving our main goal, which is winning. Helen, uh, while you were on the sideline last year, you said you helped raise your IQ and I'm sure film and uh, scouting reports and, and maybe suggestions or diving in a little deeper on certain actions, you were probably able, able to, um, you know, contribute in other ways that maybe you didn't think you could contribute. What do you think you learned the most that's raised your IQ so much? Um, well, I think I've always been kind of a defensive minded player. And so that was great being really able to go in depth and focus in on the scout a little more, um, all the intricacies in that. Then also, I think I had time to sit back and watch uh, the offensive game, specifically watching Rachel, listening to Rachel, and then like rewatching the games, watching film. And so I think that's grown a lot, which I'm really excited to bring back on the court and see how I can help the team out. Rachel, uh, this is a one bid league and there can be some pressure that comes with that. Um, it can be heavy some days for you. Other days, it can look like incredible opportunity because you've worked so hard. What's your attitude and your mindset around all of that as you you know gear up for this year? Yeah, what's great about this team is that we all have one common goal. Um, before and after every single practice, when we bring it in, we make sure we say tournament champions on three. And because we're all fighting for the same goal, I don't really, I've never really cared about the personal accolades of, well, I'm honored to receive them. That's not my goal. It's not our team goal. And so if I can keep my mind on winning this tournament championship, winning the regular season, I think that's going to have me work harder. I'm hungry for it. Our team is ready. We're prepared and we're, we're working hard every single day. Rachel, how do you prepare yourself to play 36 minutes a game at a high level? Yeah, conditioning. Conditioning is huge. Making sure specifically in the summer, I conditioned really hard. And right now, just playing, getting up and down is the easiest way for me to stay in basketball shape. So in, in practice, we're doing a really good job of getting up and down and our coaches are on us that way. And then just mentally making sure I'm ready to, you know, it's really Helen's a great defender. She's our best team defender. So having her guard me in practice makes me that much better. Guarding me full court gets me in much better shape. Well, I can't tell you how excited we are to watch you guys this year, and, and we wish you well. And uh, this could be a really special year for Wofford basketball. And, uh, we're looking forward to watching your success. And uh, thank you both for being with us on the SoCon preview show. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.